guys, welcome back to my channel, Danielle here. I'm not sure if you can tell, but the lighting is so bad right now. It's so gloomy out, I can't even see the sun. And for my videos, I rely on natural light, so I'm just like, I have no idea how this video is gonna turn out. But today I am bringing a closet clean out video because Magma Vintage invited me to do this event right here. Sugar and Spice with a closet sale by me and also tattoos by Chumby Studios. But make sure you come dressed up, so Sugar and Spice, an angel or a devil, but costumes are highly encouraged because Magma Vintage is gonna reward the best costume, $50 store credit. So if you are in the LA area or Chinatown, I'll leave all the details down below. I do wanna keep my prices pretty accessible, so the most expensive thing is gonna be $25, but really I wanna keep it in the like 10 to $15 range. And my loft isn't that much of a mess, to be honest. I recently cleaned out my armoire, so that's good to go. But I still have behind me here in these drawers, we have pants, skirts, I have my website Depop inventory that I want to go through, and then my closet. So let's get started. Let's get to some skirts now. I also have like a few pants just crammed up in here. This actually doesn't look that bad. But to be honest, y'all, this is actually a kitchen island. Like, you're supposed to use it for kitchenware, but I just use it as a closet because downtown LA lofts are notorious for having absolutely no closet space. Let's see what we have. We have this eye girl micro skirt. Y'all, as much as I love this, I honestly don't wear it, but it's one of those pieces where I'm just like, I love this for styling, so I have to keep it in my wardrobe, even though I don't wear it too often. Butt cheeks hang out of this. Like, it's so not appropriate to wear out and about, but I just gotta have it. This gray one, I really like too, but I only wear it with one shirt that I really like in my Demonias. I've only ever made one outfit with it, so this is going into the cell pile. I literally forgot that I even had this white skirt. I'm literally wearing another pleated one right now, but I think this is a modern brand. I did pick it up at the thrift store. This is a vintage and it fits me slightly big. So I think I'm gonna actually get rid of the one I'm wearing now. So this one is safe. Alright, oh, I have another one that I'm gonna say bye to and as much as I think it's super cool I just really don't like the color purple like I love lilac lavender the pastel tones But anything very dark and rich like this. I'm not a fan of hurts me, but I gotta let it go had these shorts since my Davis days back when I was in uni. I absolutely love these, but this waist looks like it no longer fits me. Okay, I am now a 27 inch waist. This waist is at a 24, 25. So this absolutely does not fit me. Time to let them go. Another item that I totally forgot I had, look at this maxi skirt. This digital floral print, this is so dang cute. This definitely looks like it has a matching top to it. So if anybody out there has a matching top to this skirt, let me know, I will buy it from you ASAP. I am literally so annoying. I don't have the zippers zipped or buttons buttoned to any of these bottoms, but I actually have two skirts like this. One of them that's a brown tone and then this black one here. I'm gonna set these off to the side because I know I wear one more than the other, and I think I wear the black one more, so I think I'm gonna get rid of at least one of them. The we're down to the last item in this cabinet here, and it's these pair of pants that have this attached skirt to it. This is screaming dark fairy. Oh, I absolutely love this, and the only reason I've been holding on to them is because I keep telling myself I'm gonna go get them tailored, because they're a size large and they just fit me too big. And even though it has a skirt, it is pretty noticeable because it's really crinkly around like the crotch and butt area. So it just doesn't look flattering on me. And it's been far too long that I haven't even done anything. So gonna let these go. So this is all done. I think we have deserved ourselves a little water break. Look at this mug I recently thrifted. <gasps> Thank goodness this is only water, but what I was trying to show you is that this mug has a little beige bunny on it, which looks just like my dumpling boy. <laughs> All right, let me just adjust y'all. Oh no, not my trash in the background. 
Okay, pants. Y'all, to be honest, I haven't worn a pair of pants in such a long time. And it's mainly because during the pandemic, I gained a lot of weight in my thighs. So a lot of my pants don't fit me. I have like Xanady, these dead stock jeans that if I were to find on Depop, if I could even find them on Depop, they'd be so expensive to replace. So I have been keeping them in my wardrobe for that. Oh, one day I'll fit into them. Or if I ever do need to resell them, at least they still have value in them. But these Xana D Patrick pants, I cannot let go of. Mm -mm. These are some Y2K dead stock CC made in USA pants. It's giving like cow print, but also at the same time, like very art bloggy. But I'm honestly not the biggest fan of this print. I just feel like it's very, nowadays it just kind of screams fast fashion. So I'm gonna let those go, even though they are authentic Y2K. Ah, oh, these guest jeans. I got them off of Poshmark and I remember that I wanted these so damn bad. I haven't worn these pants once, but they're so awesome. Look, they're black. They have this like glossy monogram all over them. So this is really hard, but I'm gonna have to keep those. Why is it like I'm thrift shopping all over again? I totally forgot that I got these pants off of Olivia. Look at this dramatic flare leg, all the patches, this statement belt. What in the world? Love these, absolutely have to keep these. Okay, I thought pants was gonna be kind of easy because I thought I would be letting go of stuff, but it's kind of hard. Look, what the heck? Who do I call if it ain't you? Tell me who to call if it ain't you. I've been facing circles in my bedroom. I've been chasing secrets in your head alone. Let me do what I do best. Slow down, let me talk to you. Don't tell me about your I don't know if this waist fits me. I thrifted them, and when I picked them up at the thrift, I don't think they even fit me to begin with, so. Let's see. Hey, it says that it's a 27 to 28 waist. That actually does fit me. What the heck? Okay, let's check these hips. It says it's a 36 hip, which I am more of a 38. Why don't we just try these on? Let's see how they fit. Because if they fit me, I'm absolutely gonna keep them. But if they don't, <laughs> it's so sad, but I'll give them up if I have to. Moment of truth. Let's stand up. So close, but they don't fit. Yeah, I don't think these are gonna do it. Look at these, tags still freaking attached. This is a made in Italy item. Y'all, why did I forget I even had these? Oh, I swear, having these cabinets sucks because when you fold everything and just cram it in there, you don't see it. No what else to say, but who do I call if it ain't you? Tell me who to call it. So another item that has been in my closet that I haven't even wore once, but they are incredibly low-waisted. Let me give you this rise measurement. Oh my gosh, seven inches. Literally seven inches. Look at this butt enclosure that's embellished and it just has this ruched construction to it. I don't know if I like these. With the skirts, I'll just put them off to the side. We have these cache pants that fit me a little too big, but I promise I will be taking these to the tailor by the end of the week because look at this color, look at this detail. These are gonna be perfect for the season. Okay, the last pair of pants that I'm gonna be giving up are these bright, green vintage pants. They're just an item that fits me a little too big and it just looks very unflattering on my body because again, there's just a lot of extra fabric that bunches up around the crotch. Gonna set those aside. Yo, we are all done with these cabinets. So I guess let's put it right back in. Just kidding, I totally forgot about this. I was literally sitting right behind it so I didn't even see it. Oh my gosh. I forgot that I got these pants from IMG. So I don't really buy brand new things for myself unless they're having a major, major deal. These are so damn sexy. Mainly got them. Look at this floral cutout. Oh yeah, absolutely keeping those. These I'm gonna say no to. They're just some Levi's. They're covered in these like paint splatters. They just look very dirty and worn. I personally love them. They're just the type of denim where when you wear them throughout the day, they get really loose. And I just hate having to pull them up so they don't like literally fall off my body. This skirt is absolutely beautiful. And as much as I want to keep it, 
these take up so much space. Like, look at that. They just expand and take up too much room. So, time to say bye to it. It's not over, no, it's only just begun. I used to have a way with words, but now I trip over my tongue. Yeah, yeah. Let's get down to the old 7 Eleven. I could use a cigarette and just a little. Skirt cabinet is looking absolutely beautiful. And look, we even have some space on every tier too. Okay, maybe not this last one, but hey, we have space. That looks super awesome. And then look at the pan section. It is pretty tight, but you know what? It looks a lot better than it did before. A little update. This is what our cell pile is looking like. Pretty good so far. Have some really fun pieces and patterns in here. Here is my armoire. I told you guys it's actually not that bad because I recently cleaned it out. The only thing that looks pretty messy is that I have all my tube tops and corsets set sorry i wasn't looking at the screen but here's a better visual i have all my corsets here i just don't like putting them on hangers and then my matching sets that i wear pretty often i have them here and then everything that i do like is up on hangers and it's color coordinated but i'll just go through it once more see if there's anything that i missed during my last purge handful of things that I want to get rid of. I'm just not feeling brown this season for some reason. So I'm going to be getting rid of this one. It does scream like forest fairy. I think it's really awesome. And then I'm getting rid of this horse shirt here. I love this graphic. I just have way too many shirts that are similar to this. For example, I have this one. I'm actually keeping this one. I love that it's black with like a brown graphic on front, but it's just so similar that I'd rather have this one instead. I also picked up this one from Sky High Vintage. Really love the silhouette of it. I just, I don't think I'm feeling these colors. Also this side detail here is just kind of throwing me off. I'm also letting go of this one here. It is giving me IMG, but at the same time, something that you would wear out to a nightclub in. I'm just a little too boring for that. So I think it's just a little too edgy for me. Another piece that was brand new with tags. I tore off the tags, but it's never worn. It is dead stock Lydia, but it has a lace-up detail. I've never wore it, so gotta let it go. And then another little Made in USA, authentic 90s or Y2K. Had a little butterfly in the front. Again, another piece that looks like something that fast fashion companies now are trying to replicate. Only this is the real deal. I just don't wear it as often. We've got a pile update here. It is gradually growing. Yeah, we're definitely making some progress. Let's move on to my Depop website inventory now. One, two, three. Our cell pile is now off the floor, on the rack. It's taking up half the rack, which is pretty damn good. Now let's just organize my website Depop rack inventory. It's This one's actually looking pretty dang good. This one, on the other hand, it is wild. I'm gonna just pull the items that I wanna keep for myself. I got my hands on a lot of these dead stock Charlotte Russe camis, and I'm surprised I never pulled one for myself, so this is gonna go in my closet. Maybe you can drive back so I can give me a drink. Same goes for these here. I also got more Charlotte Russe, dead stock pieces. Look at how freaking adorable. Guys, is this an ugly dress? Tell me, because when I first saw it, I was just like, oh my freaking gosh, that is the cutest thing ever. So I got a ton from my Y2K wholesale supplier. And keep in mind, they're also dead stock. And I think I only sold like two of them. I was just so hurt that no one was buying them. So I'm finally gonna pull one for myself. Another item that I'm just like, why does nobody want this? Maybe because it's more on the like gender fluid, a little too baggy. I know I exude a lot of like feminine style and outfits, but I love these. I think these are so awesome. Kind of remind me of like Jenko's just Instead, they're interstate, but they're still made in USA, brand new with tags. But since no one snatched these up, I'm gonna keep them for myself. But if you do like those, I'll have these khaki ones there. And these have more of a cargo style to them. They're awesome. We're headed to the last place, which is 
the closet. To be honest, I don't really come over here and I know my mess is all over so Arthur probably hates that. But this is usually where I keep all my dresses, like jackets, things that I kind of honestly don't reach for. So let's just make some space in here for the items that I pulled from my Depop. But let's just prop you all down. I'm gonna work on this first, get everything onto hangers, and then we're just gonna stuff it in here. We'll organize from there. Floor is all clean, so I guess let's just go through shoes. I don't plan on getting rid of any shoes. Okay, I know I said I'm not attached to clothes, but shoes on the other hand, I absolutely love. We have an empty shoe box. I think we're just gonna toss that. Okay, these I'm seeing, I know they're really dirty, but these are the shoes that I take to Riot Fest. But I wore my docks this past year, so actually we will be tossing some shoes. I don't need those in my life. We have another box of shoes. Oh, these are Vivaya. I actually really love these. Y'all, the view might be really sucky. Super sorry. I know this looks chaotic, but it's like an organized chaotic, but it is what it is for now. Let's move on to the clothes that I have in here. Now we have to fit all of this in there. You freaking guys, look at this really pretty slip I have. I literally have angel wings and a halo on top of my armoire, so looks like I'm gonna be an angel for the event. My battery died but I finished up my closet we have all my dresses hung up here I did not color coordinate them I didn't organize them by sleeve length or anything I rarely come in here so honestly I just don't really care but I did want to keep most of my clothes I'm only giving up one item and surprise surprise it is this dress here I have purchased this dress I've sold it I repurchased it just to sell it again I think I finally come to terms that I don't like it. To me, it's giving Western saloon vibes. So maybe someone could buy this off me and just wear it as a costume this year. Yo, we did it. We cleaned out my closet. I'm so tired. And honestly, cleaning out your closet is like a whole day dedication. So I'm freaking starving. But we got it done. My armoire is clean. My pant cabinet is clean. And the tiny bit of closet space I have is clean. So hopefully, this video motivates you to also purge your closet and just get rid of the items that no longer fit you, just aren't your aesthetic anymore, or just items that you don't like. But also a huge thank you to Magma Vintage for inviting me to have my closet sale at their storefront. This video wouldn't even exist without them. And I was looking back at when I did my last closet clean out video and it was a year ago. So this was very well needed. But if you wanna come through to the sugar and spice event, I'll leave all the details down below. I'm obviously going dressed up as an angel, but we highly encourage you guys to come in your costumes. The winner does get $50 in Magma Vintage store credit, so totally worth it. But as always, y'all, I do post videos at least once a week. I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye!